Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, October the 5th. It's the 20th week after Pentecost and week 7 in our psalm cycle. Add the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 145 to 168. And Luke 7, verse 18 to 35. And now please join with me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I cried to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God. Hallelujah, Psalm 119. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I cried to you with my whole heart. Hear me, my God. I will keep your statutes. I cried out to you, save me, and I shall keep your word. I cried out to you early in the morning. I hoped in your promises. My eyes greet the night watches that I might meditate in your word. In your loving kindness, hear my voice. Give me life according to your judgment. They draw near that follow after evil. They are far from your law. But you are near, O God, and all your commandments are truth. I have known from of old that you have planted your testimonies forever. Deliver me from my affliction, for I do not forget your cause. Plead my cause and save me. Give me life according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O God. Give me life according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and enemies, yet I do not turn away from your word. I looked upon the transgressors and was grieved, because they have not kept your law. Consider how I love your precepts, O God. Give me life according to your mercy. Your word is true from the beginning, and your judgments are righteous and last forever. Leaders have persecuted me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your promises like one that finds great spoil. I hate and abhor law, lies, but your law I love. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. They have great peace who love your law, and nothing shall offend them. I have hoped for your salvation and done your commandments. I have kept your laws, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept your precepts, and all my ways are before you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cried to you with my whole heart. <clears throat> Hear me, my God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 7, beginning at verse 18. Now the disciples of John reported all these things to him. And so John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues, and evil spirits and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, 
the poor have good news brought to them, and blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. And when John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who put on fine clothing and live in luxury are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom it is written. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, and yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God because they had been baptized with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptized by him, the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purpose for themselves. To what then will I compare the people of this generation? And what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not weep. For John has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, he has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Here ends the lesson. And now we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.